If I gave golfers of all skill levels, from someone who's never touched a club and is about to take up the game, to the best PGA Tour players, and I said, here are your two choices. You can hit it with this thing, or you can pick it up with your backhand and toss it. I can tell you, 10 times out of 10, for myself and pretty much everybody, all the way up to the PGA Tour level, would take this wedge and go like this to it, and pick that ball up and say, let me have a toss at it, okay? It's a simple motion. It's a motion that we all do. It's a motion that we can all perform on a fairly regular basis without even knowing it. We crumple up trash and toss it in the trash can, just like a basketball player. Three foot little floater underneath the basket, three point shot, same exact motion, just a different amount of force put on the ball. And all he's thinking about is, is you know what? That basket that I'm trying to put this ball in, the same as the toss, it's about that far away, all right? So wouldn't it be great if we could implement this simple motion into a short game shot? If we could get proficient at this one motion and how hard and how fast we need to do it and pretty much hit 90 to 95% of the shots around the green that way, skill level is irrelevant all the way up from the beginner all the way up to the best players in the world, it would be much easier to learn one motion and hit most of the shots that way. So go out in your yard. It doesn't even have to be at the golf course. Put a little basket out there. Grab some golf balls. Stand perpendicular to, the, to your basket as if you were hitting a golf shot and just sit there and start tossing balls at that target. And you're gonna notice some things. You don't have to worry about what this is doing. This doesn't have to lead or spin or fire or any of those things. You don't have to worry about what your right wrist is doing. When you draw your arm back, the right wrist sets a little bit, okay? You don't have to worry about holding that angle because you throw it into the ground. You let the wrist go with the amount of trajectory that you want to put on the ball. And so you're going to find the same movements, the same exact movements that create different distances, different trajectories with your tossing motion are gonna be the same movements that you use to create golf shots with a club in your hand, okay? So anything that you wouldn't do in tossing this ball, you don't wanna do that when you're hitting the shot with the club. So let's see what we are doing, okay? So I'm tossing the ball to that target just by instinct. If I was just gonna to toss the ball right there, I wouldn't draw the arm back very much and I wouldn't move my arm at that great of a speed. Whereas the reverse is true. The farther I'm gonna go, I'm gonna draw it back a little bit further, but that's instinct. You don't have to say, I'm gonna draw it back 23 degrees to hit it 36 feet. You don't have to worry about any of that. Simplify. Grab this golf ball and say, the target where I want this ball to end up is about that far away, okay? And you can see the natural movements that result from just swinging in your arm and tossing. If you take a video of yourself doing this tossing motion of the golf ball in your backyard and superimpose it or put it next to some of the best short gamers in the world, you're gonna see the movements are almost identical. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna learn how to slowly translate this simple tossing motion, okay? The simple motion that we would use to toss a ball 10 feet or 80 feet we're going to learn to integrate this same simple motion. Very quiet, reactive body. The wrist reacting back and through to the swinging of the arm and the arc we want to put the golf ball on. Your wrist is going to kind of stay more like this when you try to toss it low. And it's going to go more like this when you try to toss it high. Those are the movements that good players make when they're hitting those shots, 
all right? And there isn't a lot of active body movement and rotation. You wouldn't toss a ball and go like that. That would be awkward. The body is reactive in this motion, okay? What we're gonna notice is, is when you do this, both from a feel standpoint and when you watch yourself, when you are making this tossing motion, the body part that moves the most is your right upper arm, from the elbow to the shoulder, the humerus. So when you watch, even on this little toss, 10 feet in front of me, look at how much this moved, okay? And you won't see, your, you would not toss a ball like this, okay? That's not gonna have any touch on it. That's what short game is about. But you will see, PC people swing a golf club like this. So if you can just learn little by little, and that's what we're gonna talk about, is how to make the steps of taking this simple tossing motion and turn it into a pitching motion.